We have developed a method to make red blood cells in the laboratory. The purpose of the trial is to establish what happens when we inject those red blood cells into a volunteer. And in particular, whether those red blood cells that are made in the laboratory last longer in the circulation of the recipients when we compare them to red blood cells that have been taken from a blood donor. So we know that um, the survival of cells following transfusion is very variable depending on the per person and therefore in order to really answer the question we need to be able to do this study in a very controlled fashion and this is the first time um, that this will ever have been done. The product that we are making in laboratory is aimed at patients with very specific blood disorders. These are patients that need transfusion usually lifelong because they have an inherited genetic disorder and they can't make red blood cells themselves or they make red blood cells that do not work as well as they should and they have to be topped up or replaced by uh, red cells coming from another source. At the moment these are blood donors. To go from here to a routine product for patients there is obviously a lot more work that needs to be done that will take many years. So this is the first stepping stone in that direction to the final product that would be suitable for patients. Um, one of the key things that we would need to do is to be able to work out how to produce much more quantities of the red blood cells because at the moment we are only infusing one to two teaspoons of red cells to our volunteers. And normally for a, for a transfusion you would be um, infusing around a hundred times that amount.